Hey guys, welcome to Comfy Cozy Up. So, I am going to start off the year, 2021, with my classics, TBR. So these are books I intend to read within the next three months. I did the same formula last year, and I want to continue it because it kind of actually motivated me and pushed me to read more classics. And it was a proud moment last year when I got those 18 classics done. Now, I'm still surprised I read that many classics. So this is going to be whatever I have left over my TBR. I have eight books, but in this video, it's going to be five that I intend to read um, by the end of March, no later than the beginning of April. And by showcasing these that if you guys have them on your shelf that's collecting dust or you are per se you interested in reading classics but you know you might want to pick up one of these books because they, they do cover different areas because I do like so, so a wide selection of classic. I don't like just reading one era. I try to dibby in everything. So none of these books are pre uh, 1900 so um, which is surprise surprise that I, I only have one which um, which is a Charles Dickens but I'm waiting for Charles Dickens within later I'm gonna take a break because I've read him last month and I think I need to take a little break before I dive back into his world so there's nothing prior um, early in that but these are early 1900 book so the first book that I'm going to read for February February sorry for January is Rebecca now this is a author that I've heard a lot about, uh, Daphne Du Maurier, Du Maurier, Maurier, um, not sure where she's from because her name looks French, but I'm not sure. We'll find out when I get into reading her because I do like to learn a little bit about the author while I'm reading it. Um, so this is one I'm going to pick up and read in January, but because of the length, I typically read, uh... I would say a little longer than normal because I would break it up and I'll read along with the other books that I plan on reading for the month. So if you have this book on your shelf and you know you want to add to your January TBR and we can uh, talk. Let's do it. But this is definitely going to re be read in January. So the other books are Harlem Renaissance and some modern classics. So for the Harlem Renaissance. I wanted to read the first woman in the Harlem Renaissance to publish a book and it was published in 1924 uh, and it was I believe right after uh, Kane. So I was like okay let's see what she got and this one was um, uh, There's Confusion. This was published in 1924. It is a story about three women who are searching for love. Um, financial stability as well as success. So, Harlem Renaissance era, the 20s, maybe probably prior to the 20s that the story was written in. It's probably going to be very interesting what they went through, what they had to do, you know, all these things that came in their way to get to getting what they really want, and and also probably the relationship amongst themselves. I know it's going to be interesting. So I was excited to read this. So I'm definitely going to read this soon. Um, and let you guys know. Another Harlem Renaissance gem. Then I wanted another Claude McCain. Because you know Caribbean and Harlem Renaissance. Bam. So Banjo. So this one is a group of guys in a band. Starting a band situation. Which is probably looking for a dream. And there are considered, I guess, Caribbean, African American, African um, background. So it's probably going to be some cultural things that's happening in this, as well as um, outside social issue that's probably going to influence this. Um, I'm hoping it's funny because just having those group of men in one in a dynamic probably can be entertaining. Then another Caribbean, which is also a classic, and this is. Sam Selvin, The Lonely Londoners. Now, every time I tell somebody how much I love The Housing Lark by this art author, they always say, oh, did you read this one? So, I want to answer. So, I'm going to read this so that when they do ask me, I can say, oh, yeah, I read that one. So, this is a Trinidadian author, like I said, but the thing about him is he always has some Jamaican character and, 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 and oh, my God. It's just how he be talking <laughs> Jamaican character made me laugh and there happens to be there's gonna be one in this one so we'll see what he does with this and how he entertained my ass in this so 
I'm excited, so we'll see. And then for February, for sure, it's going to be uh, Notes of a Native Son by my boo, James Baldwin. So this is, um, I guess you would say essay or story, small stories, but they, this is nonfiction. And some of the titles are very interesting. You have, um, you have Many Thousands Gone, Carmen Jones, there's um, the ghetto, Harlem ghetto, <laughs> um, and there's Journey to Atlanta, um, Strangers in a Village. It's, I guess it's his experience in different circumstances and what he writes about. So this is probably going to be one, and, and I mean, the blurb in the backs are wonderful. So we'll see how um, this goes down and how he gets me because he's that kind of author that really knows how to get you in his, when he writes with his words. And so I'm excited about this one. So these are the books, the five books that is on my list. And uh, let me know if you have read any of these and how you, if you like them, don't, don't spoil it for no one. <laughs> but just let me know if you like them. And also um, any of these that's sitting on your shelf that you're interested in reading, let me know. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, the goal for the next three months. Yeah, so hopefully it would be nice if I finish it before that. But <laughs> but there's so much other books that I want to read. And I'm, I am sticking to uh, books that I have for right now for this month. And hopefully for um, February as well. And then I won't have to actually purchase anything until after. But, yeah, because I don't have that many books on read, bookshelf, on my bookshelf. And um, there's other things that I intend to do, but just watch my next video, guys. My vlog coming up and explain a bunch of other stuff. But this is where I'm going to end this video. And uh, thanks for watching, guys, and have a good day.